Hi, I'm Christine Louise. And I'm John Degany. We're producers at WETA and best friends. We love living in the D.C. area, but finding a place to live here can be both exciting and challenging. Join us as we tour homes and explore communities one neighborhood at a time. And find out what it would be like if, if you, you lived, lived here. If you watch the show, you're probably wondering where are the houses? Well, don't worry, they're right around the corner. We're spending today in Petworth and 16th Street Heights, and we thought it'd be fun to walk there through Rock Creek Park. It's hard to believe we're actually in Washington, D.C. Well, Rock Creek Park is D.C.'s natural getaway. It's an 1,800-acre oasis filled with trees, trails, and more. The park's eastern border runs along 16th Street, which is quite convenient, because we're headed to 16th Street Heights. Both 16th Street Heights and Petworth were developed as a series of suburban subdivisions that became part of D.C. in the late 1800s. Petworth is known for its brick row homes and front porches. Most of them date back to the 1920s and 30s, and almost every one of them is within two blocks of a park or playground. Both areas are incredibly diverse and community-oriented. 16th Street Heights remains mostly residential, while Petworth has a wide variety of shops, restaurants, and seasonal events. We're joined today by DC realtor Denise Champion, who has lived and helped folks in Petworth and 16th Street Heights become residents and neighbors for many years. She sounds perfect. Shall we go meet Denise? Lead on, Park Ranger. Well, I was a Girl Scout. All right, through the forest <laughs> we go. Hi, Denise. Hey, John. Hey, hi, Christine. How hi. are you? Hey, good, good. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, welcome to Petworth. Yes. And this is going to be our first property, and we're going to go upstairs and take a look. Okay, so it's right. Fantastic. Very good. I love the outside of this building, Denise. It's a great building. It's a tourist style building. All right. Come on in, Christine and John. Oh. Thanks for escorting us up, Denise. Oh, Thank absolutely. You. This looks great. Absolutely. I'm so excited for you to see this unit. So I know you've seen a lot of real estate over the years and in this area because you've been a realtor for how long? 45 everyday years. Mm -hmm. I call it twice on Sundays because I usually do open houses as <laughs> yes. well. Yes. yes. And I'm on almost my 1900th house. Oh, my God. Wow. Right? You want to know about location first? or Tell us where yeah, we are. Tell us. All right. You are in the northeast section of Petworth and along Upshur Street. We have a lot of new restaurants. And we have the farmer's market, we have bike share. Mm -hmm. Petworth is considered, as of now, one of the most revitalized, mm -hmm. gentrified communities in the country. So there's a lot of new development going in here. But this building is charming. It consists of nine buildings. Okay. It has a beautiful courtyard built in 1936. So you have all the architectural features of a Tudor. One of the things I want to highlight about this unit is that it has three exposures. So you have wow. 13 windows. Go hunt and find out where these things are. You're going to have to keep like yeah. a checklist. I know. Yes. I'm going to give you some privacy, and okay. so I'll wait for you uh, outside the door. Perfect. Okay. okay. We'll All see right. You in a bit. Enjoy. You. OK. Oh, this is great. Right, and you notice the archway is right away. Nice detail. I mean, they're all throughout this mm -hmm. entire place. And look what they did to the kitchen. So redone, remodeled. OK. So I do like the counter-to-ceiling uh, tile. Yeah, they took out all the cabinets and did these floating shelves, which mm -hmm. is a trend right now. It is. How do you feel about no cabinet space, though? Well, I mean, it's sharp looking. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, you know, you get a lot of utility out of it. But, you know, I would probably put shelves on this wall. Oh, that I would add a lot that. of storage for the kitchen. It would, it would. And oh, big living into room. Oh, you nice big oh, living room. so nice. OK, so let's go check out the bedrooms. Sounds good. Nice bed. Hi. Oh, hey, hey, two doors. <laughs> nice space. Talk about light. Hello. Right, right. Three more windows. Three more. I hope you're keeping track. Let's go up my way. OK. <laughs> so here we have bedroom number two. Another sizable bedroom. And these beautiful windows. I bet this is original hardwood. Those doors are yeah. gorgeous. All right, very nice. So obviously bedroom number three. And the other side of this place was so bright during this time of day. This has shady side to it. Well, you said you get all exposures. You do get all exposures. <laughs> this is nice. OK, here we have the bathroom. Yep, I bet that is probably the original cast iron That's a tub. solid tub. You can't you know, even knock on that one. Those are so hard to get out of a home. But you know, it's nicely remodeled around it. Absolutely. Lots of potential yeah. to make little changes here and there. 
Oh, there Hi, she is. Hey, hey. So, guys, what you think? Oh my gosh, I, it's great. I loved it. And you know what I loved in particular is you walk in, and technically it's not what you would call open concept, but it feels like an open concept. The rooms are huge. Mm -hmm. The living room, the uh, original doors, okay, the hardware. And, and truth be told, we did lose count on the windows. Yes, yeah, but, 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 but the natural beautiful. light, really great. Sure, yeah. Super, glad to hear that. So after we finish a home, we like to guess the listing price. That's right. So whoever gets closest to the actual listing price. Without going over. Gets bragging rights, essentially. Okay. okay. All right. But before we guess, um, a couple questions. Okay. So this is a co-op. What is the monthly fee? The monthly fee is around $9.27. However, with the cooperative, it includes practically everything. All you pay is the electricity. Keep in mind, this is an older building. Mm -hmm. Built in 1936. 1936. I should have tested you on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> See if you're listening. <laughs> so, three bed ropes, yeah. one bath, 12 to 1300 square feet, somewhere in between. It actually seems bigger to me. It does. And maybe it's because of the flow of the house, but I'm going to go for these three bedrooms here on New Hampshire Avenue in Petworth at 375. Okay. All right, Final three, answer. 375. 375. Right. I'm going to go at a listing price of 425. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm so sorry to tell you that you're both wrong. So we both went over? Both went over. The actual price is 350. Wow. wow. So I'm not surprised that you came up with that number. So this is pretty special and unique. That's, uh, you can see that, but we have two more chances to redeem ourselves. That's right, so two more homes today, and we're going now from Petworth to your neck of the woods. That's right, 16th Street Heights, and I can't wait to show it to you. Okay, let's go. This is the Petworth area, one of my favorite places in D.C. <laughs> Everything's accessible, lots of cute places, cute restaurants, and lots of fun stuff to do. What I like about Petworth is there's a lot of really nice people that live in the area. Like, everyone is super friendly. I like that in Petworth you can walk to almost anything, grocery stores, libraries, even a pool, if you're willing to walk half a mile. This is the Upshur Street Corridor, sort of known as the, the block, and it's, it's a really important aspect of Petworth because it has a, a lot of the restaurants, a lot of the retail, and it continues to evolve and to, to grow over time. What, one of the things that makes Petworth very special is the combination of that sense of community, sense of pride of place. Petworth was originally a family-owned land, and in the 1880s, it was sold to become uh, subdivided into homes. And the very first row houses designed by Harry Wardman were right there on 8th Street with the front porches, which are very popular and are very important to the culture here in Petworth. In the summertime, me and my cousins were like, we would always go to Grandma's house. She would come outside with her coffee, and we would go run up and down the street. They would stay on the porch and watch us. We would call it Grandma's coffee conversation. The porch was also a meeting place for us. My grandmother was like famous for feeding everybody in the neighborhood. So any given moment, it would be 25 kids probably on my porch. Well, welcome to 16th Street Heights. This is nice. This is kind of a combination block. These are row homes. Yes. They were built in the 1920s. Mm -hmm. And it's across the street from detached Victorians and bungalows. Like this and one? And they were built in the early 1900s, like maybe 1905, 1906. Okay. Okay. In general, 16th Street Heights has mostly detached frame houses. The other thing I want to point out to you, just a little bit of history, yeah. is that this is the early neighborhoods for downtown. So people would come on the weekends on horse and buggy, yeah. and it still exists. There is like a buggy turnaround. There's a you buggy know? turnaround yes. to this day? Yes. Now it's the bus oh. turnaround. So I'm excited for you to see this particular property. So go ahead and take a look. OK. All right. And let me know what you think. We All right. Will. All right, what a hey. nice foyer again. This is nice. Look at the nice staircase. Yeah. Nice foyer yeah. into your living room. I love these wood doors. And you know what? I have to say, I think this is the first time I've seen bamboo flooring in the houses we've looked at. Yes, I think that is the first time we've seen that. Bamboo floors are resilient. Oh, yeah. I mean, they can handle lots of foot traffic. And then to... I don't mean to, like, skip or rush rooms. Ah, this room is spectacular. 
this is why you buy this house. This is right, probably right, the right, wild right. room for me. I mean, your eye is just completely drawn to these French doors yeah. and this light. Oh, this is oh. great. Oh, look at this nice backyard. That's a nice space. I love all the layers of paint mm -hmm. on this wood and this brick. And then also this buttercream that they used on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, really cute. All right. Oh, hello, Retro. So for the year this house was built, this is actually a good-sized kitchen. It sure is. You, Very big. Yeah, you've got plenty of cabinet space. You've got plenty of counter space. Oh, hey, but look up. Look at these panels. You don't see this often in homes, but uh, you see it in like restaurants and it brings ceiling heights down and acts as a sound buffer. But I dig it in this kitchen. Okay, up we go. Yep, let's take a look at the After second you. floor. Okay, okay, so there's After four right. bedrooms. Let's do left because there's that porch up here. Oh, oh is there? There's an entry on this side. There's an entry on this side. Oh, Where's Risha. Up? Hi, I win. <laughs> Like, but look at the view from up here. Yeah, oh this my is gosh. great. And this would have been that sleeping porch back in the day, you know, where you would have screens up here so you could be cool at night and keep the bugs out. This would be great to sleep out here today. I would do that. All right. Well, this is a nice little bedroom. How's your bedroom? Well, I have a cute bedroom, too. You do, too? I, I do, do too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yours is nice. It is cute. All these original details. OK, here's the bathroom, full bath. All right. All right it's this been updated. Nice. Yeah, 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 it's not super new, but it, it's nice. It's mm -hmm. up to date. Yep. And look up. Look at that skylight. How classic is that? Oh, my gosh. I did not notice that at really all. Really cool. I mean, it was bright in here, but yeah. just think of the things I'd miss if I wasn't with you. Isn't that no. so true? <laughs> OK, so here is bedroom number three. Yep, definitely the biggest one on the floor. Mm -hmm. Nice size space. Yeah. Very good. And here we have, this is the fourth bedroom. Fourth and final, the baby bedroom. As we're talking about the character of the home, you know, the original doors, and I yeah. bet this is the original floor. Sure looks like it. Mm -hmm. uh, you really feel the age of this house in a you great do. way. And yeah. you know what? That's what makes this home so unique. That's what makes older homes unique. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. OK, downstairs? Yep, let's go check let's out go. the lower level. All right. Well, this is unexpected. It is. I mean, when you think about when this home was built, I mean, to have a basement this size. Yeah, and they've done a really nice job because they've created separate rooms. Yeah, there's a little office here, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And little, another bedroom. Well, oh, this is a good size yeah, space here. With a window, right. nice guest room. Yeah. So that's right. up to five bedrooms. And you have an outdoor entrance, a separate outdoor entrance. You sure do. So what we have here, oh, another bedroom, closet, and then a full bath. Is this a full bath? It is a full bath. Look, it has a really teeny shower. This was a lot of house. It was. Lot to consider. And you know, we both went over last time. We did, so we both kind we of blew can't the first let one. Denise <laughs> down again. No. Hey. Hello. So, hey guys, what did you think? Well, I'm gonna call this the porch house. <laughs> All right. Great porch as you walked in, and then the porch in the back, and then the one upstairs. Mm -hmm. Love it. That upstairs porch with the balcony, you thought it probably had screens at one time. Yeah, a sleeping porch. Yes, now people have finished them, or they had them screened, mm -hmm. but you're quite correct. And the kitchen is fun, it's funky. I loved that drop ceiling in there. Yeah, yeah. it's custom, I think it's, Funky cute, actually. Funky yeah. cute. Yeah. I like that. So to recap, it's three levels finished. Yep. You have four bedrooms up. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have three rooms that are finished in the basement. Okay. You know, with the laundry room, a very deep yard, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but two car parking. And are you close to any metro here? I have to say, that is the neighborhood downfall. Okay. However, they have buses that go north. East, southwest. All right. All right. We're near Rock Creek Park, correct? You are two blocks okay. from the playground of uh, Rock Creek Park called Carter Barron. All right, All right. So I'm ready. Okay, okay. I'm ready too. All right. You know, we're coming off kind of a double loss. I am going to come into a listing price of $730,000. She has the best poker face. <laughs> Denise, this was a great house. There's a lot to offer. All right, all right we don't have all day. Which OK, are, are I did have a few more comments, but I'll just skip <laughs> okay. that. OK, so that said, I am going to put in a guess of $675,000. OK, the list price was six ninety nine. So if we're going by the list price, Yes. You would be the winner. Those are the rules. That's the rules. <laughs> However, we had seven offers, 
and it went almost 100000 over the ASCII wow. price. Wow. So, that okay. is actually not surprising. But let Denise finish. So technically, I was closer. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, you to know. the sales price. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> look, look, those aren't the rules. Rules, rules can be broken. I'm not the <laughs> rule maker. Okay? Okay? You won't make the rules. Not this game, Denise. <laughs> These rules are sticky. <laughs> you're right. And, all right. Good. Congratulations. Uh, thank right. you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I am so excited for the next house. If you guys are ready, right. let's go. Yep, lead right, the way. you guys. So I've lived in 16th Street Heights. I call it Uptown for all my life. What's special about Uptown is literally close to all my favorite things. You have Highlands Restaurant right around the corner. You have Corn Rose and Company, a nice natural hair care. You have the Fresh Markets on Saturdays. Everybody is there. And it's really community-based. You know, everybody almost knows everybody. So we're on a 1300 block of Hamilton Street, mm -hmm. one of the interior blocks of 16th Street Heights. And the interesting thing about this block, if you look at the houses, these are bungalows. At the time that they built these houses, this was probably in the 1920s to 30s, mm -hmm. the developers built the look-alike houses. Right. So Hamilton is personally important to you. It's important to me because my children spend a lot of time over here. Wow. Well, not only did you raise your kids here, but they still live here today, right? They we, bought homes nearby. Yes, they did. They are probably both within no more than a mile and a half to two miles from us. We've lived in this neighborhood for 36 years. As I call this my suburban DC because we have everything. We have the city and we have the suburbs. You know, I'm sure everybody will brag about their neighborhood, but mm -hmm. I think 16th Street Heights has it all. I'll go ahead and brag. <laughs> and speaking of having it all, you're taking us to our third property for the day, and you said it has it all. It has more than that. <laughs> so we're just really uh, a walk around the corner. OK, well, okay. that's great. All right. So. We're at our third house. We're also still in 16th wow. Street Heights. It's so just a modest house. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just a, it's actually by far the largest house in the neighborhood. And I'm going to step out there and say it may be one of the larger properties in Washington, D.C. Wow. Wow. This property happens to be built in 1909. Mm -hmm. This was used for the early weekend homes oh. for early Washington. This is a simple weekend, weekend home. home. That's right. You have 11 bedrooms. 11 bedrooms. 10 bathrooms. 10, Ten bathrooms. bathrooms. How big is this family? Well, a single family lived here for many years. Wow. And more recently, it's been turned into an Airbnb. I, I think we have our work cut out for us, Tina, we today. And we should have brought an overnight bed. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I will meet you on the lowest level. Okay. Oh. You can do the first floor and go upstairs. Okay. And I have a surprise for you Wait. when we get downstairs. All right, so we're meeting you in the basement? Uh, yeah. OK. Is that all right? All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. Oh, well, hello, big, beautiful home on 16th Street Heights. Well, this is pretty dramatic. The it archways is. as you walk in and the lights. Where do we begin? Well, there's a parlor <laughs> here to the right, left. Right, right. So perfect as people would come up to visit you That's during the summer on the weekend. Yes. Yeah. And then another large living space. But you have to admire the woodwork. Yeah. The, the huge pocket That's drawers. A big... That's a pocket Look drawer. Look at that, with the That's original gorgeous. hardware. And into the back, into another large living room. And you can see that it really is kind of set up for a B and b all these sitting areas. And big living rooms need big mm -hmm. chandeliers. Well, you know what living spaces also need? Kitchens. Where's the kitchen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I was already going to be like, and here's the kitchen. Well, we have a great corner clock, though. The clock is nice, another chandelier. But okay. I, uh, I'm sure I have, we'll find that kitchen I'm sure somewhere. Will. But you know, even though I did not find a kitchen, mm -hmm. I did find a great backyard in that carriage house. I want to see that carriage yeah, house. Yeah, I want to go check that out. All right. OK, oh my gosh, look at this backyard. How oh. nice is this? Big deck. Mm -hmm. And look at that pergola. That is a nice, entertaining area. OK, carriage house. Carriage house. Oh, The enchanted carriage house. I see a spiral staircase. Let's check it Up out. Up we go. All the way up. All right, so this is definitely one of the bedrooms. Oh, this is great. This is so cute. And we have a full bath. Oh, that's it. Wow, they did a good job of, like, renovating this. Right, right. OK, well, that's one bathroom down, like, 27 to go. to go. Let's go. All right. 
Hey, you know what this spot would be great for? What's that? Weddings. Oh, that See would be nice. Married there? Well, those stained glass windows, it's just like a nice background to this, you know, yard in general. Mm, it is. Hey, this is just like an old manor house. Nice bay window here. All right. All right. So this is our first round of bedrooms. Ah, uh, this looks impressive. <laughs> so four of them. Well, let's start with the uptown, since that's the name of the home. I like it how they put the name on the transom. I know. Nice room, nice big it's windows. Great room. Tina, look at this burled wood door. Well, you know what? That's bird's eye maple. That is gorgeous. Okay. And then we have a full bath. It's wow. a nice updated bath. It is nice very, tiles. yes, up to date, yeah. brand new. OK. All right, into the second suite. OK, wisteria. I can totally appreciate the height of the ceilings in this room. Well, you know, I think this room is a little brighter than the last room. So your eyes are just really drawn up to the ceiling. Very much so. Tina, look at this bathroom. Oh, this is a showstopper. Yeah. I am in love with the blue. I love these windows. Oh, and look at this cast iron tub. How about the tile on top of the shower? That's, that's one of the first things I noticed. It's like ginkgo leaf. Mm -hmm. Very different. It is stunning. Wow. Next suite? Yep. Okay, so. Okay, this one sounds fancy. Ooh. Into the Hollywood suite. Oh. Hollywood. Ba -ba 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 Hollywood. <laughs> All right. Hey, I think this is my favorite bedroom in the I house so I, far. I would agree because I love that it's on like the corner of the house and it's got this nice round. I don't know what would you call that. Basically, wall. Yeah, really. <laughs> Let's just say it's dramatic, right? Oh, Maybe that's, that's why, why it's the Hollywood, Hollywood room. room. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of dramatic, look at the entranceway to this bathroom and these pocket doors. Yeah, big entrance to a big bathroom. Mm -hmm. I love the shower. Well, you know, it's mixing that modern with the original features of the house. Yes, I think they've done it very well, too. OK. All right, next, next room? room, the Corleone. Aha, Corleone. <laughs> uh -huh. the Corleone, Corleone suite, the Godfather suite. <laughs> All right, there are a lot of cherubs going on in this room. Good. Come on, up we go. <laughs> All right, top floor. Looks like four, four suites. <laughs> OK, we don't have time for all of these. OK, how about we just pop our heads OK, in. OK. The sweet charity. All right, well, this room is sweet. Yeah, it is. <laughs> OK, the jewel room. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Look at this. It has that little mansard roof mm -hmm. and the skylights. Nice big bathroom. Yeah. Nice. I think I'd call it a jewel. It's a jewel. <laughs> OK, and then we've got the hollyhock. Oh, I love the windows. And I love that four-poster bed. Nice and serene. But I think this is the fourth and final room up here. It's room with a view. You know what's inside this I door? I bet it's a view. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh. oh, it is. Oh. And a balcony. A gorgeous view. Oh, my gosh. OK, well, you know, Denise was saying, mm -hmm. you know, we are sitting on top of a hill. And you right. can see, just looking down, mm -hmm. you can see all the neighboring neighborhoods. Well, this is the uptown. It is uptown. <laughs> you know what we haven't seen? The actual room itself. <laughs> <laughs> we raced in here so quickly, really. There's actually a room with this view. Uh, hey, this is a groovy room. It is, because you've got a really nice sitting area over there. Yeah. And you have a full bath. OK, so now down to the lowest level mm -hmm. to see Denise. And I can't wait to see what is on level right one. Hey, did we notice that door before? I did not. But look, it has a please pull sign on it. So you, why don't you uh, well, open that, that up? Oh, it's a wet bar and laundry area. For a B&B, that's yeah. pretty handy. Pretty yep. door. All right. Well, those are some very creative bedrooms. They were. So which one was your favorite? I would choose, wait. Well, why don't we count to three, and then okay. we'll, okay, ready? Right. One, two, two, three. three. Wisteria. Oh, I knew you'd be Hollywood. You're so Hollywood. You're very Wisteria. Okay, <laughs> okay let's so head let's... downstairs. Right. I guess through oh, this okay. door, the one that says private. There you guys are. Here's the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. <laughs> yes. We knew there had to be a kitchen right. somewhere. Some, yes, somewhere. absolutely. Totally unexpected. And down here, there's an additional two bedrooms. OK, All which right. way? Either way. All right, you go that way, I'll go this way. Sounds okay. good. I'll check out this one. Whoa! This one is huge. Tina is going to love these floors. All right, let's check this out. Oh, wow, look at that bathroom sink. All right, you want to take a look at that one? You've got to see that one. OK, check okay. out the sink. <laughs> oh, this is cozy. Oh, I like the brick detail. 
that vanity is insane. Oh, I can see why it's down to earth. And we have a huge full bath with double vanity. It's really fabulous. Have that, you ever? <laughs> that was big, right? So that was, that, that just went on and on and on. Now you've seen the entire house. That's mm -hmm. right, Denise Champion. <laughs> and now it's time for you to crown mm -hmm. the champion of Petworth 16th Street Heights. OK, so let's see. Any other questions? I know there's been some renovations on this home, but what are some of the original elements still left? Well, first of all, this is a restoration. Okay. Because the house is basically in its original condition in terms of the room sizes, the original pocket doors, the transoms, mm -hmm. the doorknobs, a lot of the light fixtures, the wood floors are yes. original. And we love when homes are truly restored, too. This is a nice balance, right? It is. So, we have four levels finished. Mm -hmm. We have 11 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, 23 rooms. A including lot. a carriage house. Mm -hmm. It was built in 1909, yep. and the original asking price was $10,000. $10,000? So <laughs> well, you know what? I think I'm going to go a little higher mm -hmm. than that original uh, price of okay. $10,000. I'm going to come in at $2.4 million on this home. OK, I can okay. see that. All right. Um, all right, Denise Champion. <laughs> I'm going to make a guess of 2.2 million. All right. The actual list price for this property was one million nine hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> oh, We've gone over, over. again <laughs> second time out of three homes. All right, all right. Well, um, I guess that speaks volumes about mm -hmm. this neighborhood, right? Absolutely. That just goes to show you, frankly, there's true value in Pedworth and 16th Street Heights. And we see the value mm -hmm. of the homes here, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we yes. went over it twice. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, on that note, um, Denise, thank you for being a wonderful host today. And thank you for having me represent 16th Street Heights and Petworth. It was my pleasure. You know, we may have lost the game, but we can always come back and... Uh, Check in. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And as a treat for you, I would like to buy you dinner and drinks of the Oh, that's, that's so nice. sweet. See, there Deal. are benefits to losing. <laughs> <laughs> After you. Thank you, sir. So is Moreland's close by? Only two blocks. Oh, uh, that's perfect. If you lived here, you would know that if you walk up this way a bit towards uh, New Hampshire, that there's a lovely little circle park right in the middle of a traffic circle. So you know, you brave the traffic and then you get there, and it's a great place to hang out with the kids, a great place to run around with the dog. Uh, it's kind of our own little private uh, oasis. If you lived here in Petworth, you would know that the rec centers have free exercise classes almost every night of the week. If you lived here, you'd know that the Hitching Post is a all day happy hour on Mondays, and it's really, really good. So if you lived here, you would know about the Carter Baron right up the street, uh, the concerts that are there, the tennis matches that are there. It's really a lot of fun. I do love this neighborhood. To find out more about living in the Washington metro area, visit weta.org slash if you lived here.